Hi there, folks. I'm just uh, playing with the idea of potentially getting coffee. Maybe in a few minutes. I think I'm okay for the minute. Just going to let it cool down. Once... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I just popped the curtain open to see if the sun was going down and just got a face full of, uh, face full of sunshine. Ugh. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi and welcome. I hope you're having a lovely evening. Welcome to your weekend. Welcome indeed to your weekend. Um, so, on the YouTube side of things, which is how I typically start any live stream, uh, I'm working on Armour Bullshittery, so Armour 3 Bullshittery, uh, part 10. Uh, the video is 18 minutes and 39 seconds long. Oh, that's too loud. Sorry. Bear with me. Thank you. Uh, sorry, one minute. And near deafen me. Um, do, 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 do. Hang on. Sorry about that. Let me just turn that down. Um, thank you, Haynes Truce. And uh, Adic and Duke Derek Rules. Thank you, all of you. Thank you for your kindness. Sorry, one minute. We'll just move that there. Okay. Sorry, what was I saying? Um, yes, sorry. So the, the latest YouTube project, uh, so Armour Bullshittery Part 10, uh, 18 minutes and 39 seconds long. I've completed 16 minutes and 46 seconds. It's made up of 37 sequences. I finished 36 sequences. One final sequence remains. Uh, unfortunately, it's a very difficult one. Uh, it's the closing joke, so it's got to be good, and it's going to take quite a bit of my um, quite a bit of my experience to do. In short, the scene is cut to music, which is always way more difficult than any typical scene. So um, yeah, it's going to take me time. I'll do my best, but it's the weekend now, so I'm just going to uh, put my feet up and just chill, really. So um, yeah, so too long didn't read. Uh, yeah, 16 minutes, 46 seconds complete out of 18 minutes and 39 seconds. Right. As for right now, anyway, how are, how are all of you doing? How are, how are all of you doing? <laughs> how are you all doing? Hang on. Uh, how's the chat? Okay. Do I watch NASCAR? No, not for me, I'm afraid. Not really my sort of thing. Not, I'm not really into cars, uh, Morio. Ah, oh, dear. Mm, it is Hectonian. Indeed. Enjoy. Good, good. Uh, Thea Damo. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm really just putting tools down for the evening and wasn't sure what I was going to do. On the, on the spur of the moment, I just kind of figured, oh, I'll just drop back into this as a bit of nostalgia. So I don't know how long I'm going to play it for. Um, yeah, really no, no plan this evening. I'm just kind of, uh, sorry, for those not familiar, I spend the days editing. That's where the most of my effort goes on a day-to-day -day basis. The live streams are really just... Uh, to stop me going insane. So just in the evening uh, and the morning, just a little bit of gaming on it either side. Uh, I I've got to be kind of strict so that I don't keep, um, you know, uh, otherwise my work-life balance starts to tip horribly in one direction. Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I know, Rodum. I keep saying it repeatedly, like the talents of Bubu, well, many of the artists here, but Bubu, Bubu Dingo in particular, her talents are wasted on us. She's so, yeah, incredible, incredible work. So thank you, Bubu, if you're there. Um, yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to return to it, uh, Dalts, and just uh, give it a, give it a welly. Right, so let's just drop right in. So if you're not familiar with uh, Operate, so it's now called, due to a legal dispute, uh, the exact details of which have never been released, as far as I know, between the original developer, Bohemia Interactive, and the publisher, Codemasters. Uh, so the rights to Operation Flashpoint are still under the umbrella of, uh, of Codemasters, frustratingly. Uh, and um, yes, so Bohemia decided to go their own way and uh, made the Armour series, of which their first game, Operation Flashpoint, had to be legally renamed, as far as I know, into Armour Cold War Assault. But effectively, this game is Operation Flashpoint. And um, yeah, considering the horrendous mismanagement of Codemasters. Uh, yeah, this is a, it's, it's the true Operation Flashpoint. There's no, there's no, there's no competitor. They fucked it up so badly. Anyway, let's drop right in. So, campaign. So, uh, oh yes, I did just click it a minute ago to make sure it would work, but I just go straight back here. So, switch it over to veteran mode, and here we go. Uh, yep. Hey, 
Frosty, you meathead. I was listening to that. Hey, you guys, enough already. It's bad enough being cooped up on this miserable lump of rock without having to share it with the two of you. In Bonn, the G7 now shut up and you might learn something. After three days of negotiations, representatives were successful on measures to curb inflation, but were unable to reach a consensus on a global anti-drugs program. The U.S. President, Ronald Reagan, described the talks as a major step forward. Yee-hee! Soviet Union. Pipe down, children. Mikhail Gorbachev, the new General Secretary of the Communist Party, is facing the first test of his leadership as the crisis in his country grows. The Politburo is said to be divided over Mr. Gorbachev's plans for political and economic reform, so-called perestroika. The head of the KGB, Nikolai Stronsky, is reported to have left for his Dhaka in the Crimea with a number of senior military figures. But official Kremlin sources deny any split. Sport now. And Czechoslovakia has won the World Ice Hockey Championship after defeating the Canada 5-3 at school home girls. in Prague. Meathead! You stink, Fowley. I don't know, Armstrong. If our tour wasn't up next week, I'd seriously consider swimming home. <laughs> What is this, a tea party? You ladies were due on the parade ground ten minutes ago. Now get your asses out there or I'll have them stitched into footballs and kick them from here to New Jersey. Get those shoulders back. Stand up straight, Kozlowski. That's more like it. If I were a Russian, I'd take one look at you bunch of schoolgirls and lap all the way to the U.S. of A. You boys may be flying home next week, but if I send you back like this, Uncle Sam will think we're running a holiday camp out here. So before I ship you out, I'm going to shape you up. Armstrong, if anyone needs to shape up, Armstrong, it's you. Uh? I've seen sumo wrestlers with flatter stomachs than yours. <laughs> Can you see that truck over there, soldier? Can you? Sprint there! Now move your ass! Okay. Right. Armstrong, you see that truck on the left? Use the mouse to look around. Thank you, game. Run to it and back. Hurry up. Uh, okay. Right, here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For the people joining, welcome. Uh, thank you, Mosaic Dragon and Hader Elite. Okay, Armstrong, now run back. Move, move. Okay. And I'm out of breath already. Thank you, Spawns a lot. Get back in line and put your gun on your back. Okie dokie. So on the main keep. Oh, hang on. No, I thought I muted myself. There we go. So switch over. M16 on my back and get back in line. Did it work? Probably got the waypoint. Hang on. Soldier, there we go. It's time to see what you're made of. Let's hit the training ground. Okay. So. For us by the gate. Hurry up. There is quite a lot to unpack with Operation Flashpoint. To our modern eyes, this all looks a bit weird. Um, hell, it looked a bit weird back in 2001. You got to remember, 2001 was games. It was the year of Halo Combat Evolved. Red Faction. GTA 3, you know, titans, fucking titans of gaming. And then you had this? Max Payne as well, is that correct? Is my memory correct or am I wrong? Go on, soldiers, get in. Hang on, okay, let's get in here. Oh yes, and Sons of Liberty, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. There we go, let's get in the back. Whoa, it's a bit too loud. Whoa! Bit too loud. Sorry about that. So, um, if anything, uh, uh, I, the reason I'm describing that is because this game felt almost like... You know the concept of outsider art? So mm -hmm. art that's so different from the mainstream, that's so from the left field, that it becomes fascinating. Here, this little Czech studio made their first game, and if memory serves, 
Didn't they win like a whole bunch of awards that those games did not? Like this thing topped the charts for quite a considerable amount of time, basically dethroning a titan like Microsoft? Which is like, what? And the reason they did that, well there are many reasons that they did that, is just um, they, they broke down many of the weird barriers that are just kind of the assumptions that have been made in gaming for a long time. So it's janky, but it came out of left field and kind of knocked everyone's socks off. Whoa, it's so loud, Jesus Christ. Wait, is that not controlled here? Hang on, what controls the truck noise? Audio. Is it not an effect? What is it? Oh shit. I might have to turn it down manually. Hang on. One second. Music? No, it should be... Let me turn it down here for a second. Just turn down the game. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, the game just crashed. Oh, okay. Might be one of these evenings. Oh dear. Right. But why? Um, so effectively, the game... I had to describe it. So, um... Those other games, the ones that I mentioned, you know, so GTA, uh, what, so Halo in particular, but GTA and all that. Um, so you're playing as a main character who sometimes has the universe sort of move around them, but it's certainly the most important person, right? You're moving through levels, you're trying to save the world, you're trying to save the universe, uh, you're breaking the back of the Colombian cartel, you're, uh, whatever, trying to save the president and stop the nuke. Here is a, a completely different story where you play as a fucking nobody. You're just someone caught in the middle of a shitstorm that kickstarts off some islands in the middle of nowhere between the Soviet Union and the US. And spoiler warning, the game ends and you're a nobody. Nothing mattered. This game is like a, a veteran simulator where you go to war and you kill people and you're shot at in return and you go through such a horrendous event and at the very end of the game, what is the final level? You go to a pub and no one talks about it. It's weird. It's like um, you know, you're just expected to reintegrate having just fought this war and it's like um, it, it became haunting. This game is haunting. That's the best way to describe it. Hang on. Training? Continue. Do I have to redo it? Ugh. So, other games like, I don't know, like Sons of Liberty. Uh, that game, uh, f fucking hell. One could argue that it's creator, meta, whatever, commentary. But another reading of it can be that the creator can't stop wanking over his own goddamn creation. They're continually mentioning, oh yes, Metal Gear, Metal Gear. Everything's important, Metal Gear. Solid Snake, he's Solid Snake! Shadow Moses! This one, total opposite. The events of this game are never mentioned again. Everything you do doesn't matter. Again, slight spoiler warning for the later parts of this game. But it, it's interesting in that regard, in that it's almost like a, not just a simulation of a soldier, but also, I suppose, a veteran's experience of a war. One bullet and you're dead. Yep. Okay, we've got to race through this again. Whoop. But what's going to happen is effectively a flashpoint, so a uh, an escalation of conflict in, uh, in a remote section of um, on the islands of Everon and Malden, and it all kicks off and it keeps getting worse until all of a sudden it just stops, and you're given this disquieting lack of closure. It's amazing. Hang on. Or maybe it's my rosy red glasses, you know, tinted glasses. Hang on. Come on. Is the game too... I've turned the game all the way so down. It's time to see what you're no, it's still the same volume, Let's isn't the it? Training ground. So one second. Let me just pause it and then minimize it. Is it going to crash again if I turn it all the way down? There we go. There's a truck waiting for us by the gate. Cool. Um, yeah, the audio is going to get too loud in a minute, is the problem. Hang on. Oh, no, don't salute, dingus. Put the M16 in your hand. Let's go. Right. Anyway, for the people just joining, I hope you're having a lovely day today. Welcome to Operation Flashpoint. Uh, on the bullshittery front, I'm working on Armour Bullshittery Part 10. It's 18 minutes and 39 seconds long. I've finished 16 minutes and 46 seconds. Yep, 
Get in. Let's go. Okay, and... Okay, I can turn my head. Is it too loud? God damn it. There we go. So everything in the game is shot within the engine. There's no sort of flashy cutscene and animated whatever. All of the units are moving around on the map and interacting with each other, which is, which is janky as hell. But it really adds to the overall mouthfeel that, well, this place is a place. It's real. There are no borders. It just continues until you hit the ocean, leading to a sense of scale that no other game had at the time. Can I go third person in veteran mode? I can, sweet. Okay, that could be a way to escape the loud noise then. If I know that I can go third person. Okay. Also, in other news... Oh, hang on. We're here. Disembark. Doggy belly. <laughs> She's warm. Oh, hang on. Right, let me try turning up the game. If it's going to crash continually, continually, that could be a massive problem. There are very few saves in the game. Hang on. There we go. Let's go. Now it's time to prove yourselves. Armstrong, you seem to think you're pretty good. Well, you can go first. Run along the lane between the two blocks, then back to us. Get moving, soldier. All right. Go for it, kid. Go, go, go. Whoa. Okay, what's the prone key? Let's go. Did I do it? Did I miss one? Hang on. Was there a waypoint that I didn't cross? Hang on. Did it ping? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Armstrong, that wasn't bad. Now the rest of you, go, go, go. See, whilst other game developers were faking it, having their NPCs teleport in and out all over the place, this game demonstrates that no, it's not. It's doing it for real. Their NPCs are pathfinding, <laughs> mostly pathfinding correctly. <laughs> You know what, I'm just going to shut my mouth. <laughs> God damn it, Kowalski. Okay, man. Okay. Right. Time for the firing range. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, you see my point, though? As in, this was a simulation, and the, the developers came out of left field and kind of, I suppose, embarrassed, like other game studios, with their technical competence. Yes, it's janky, but no other developers were doing shit like this. You know, with crammed levels where everything's pre-packaged and you didn't have the freedom to just go over, over, over there. I can go over there. That's real. That exists. I can set up a whole level there if I want in the mission editor. Yeah, all of that is crazy when this came out. No, no competition in that, that area. No game was trying it. Yeah, groundbreaking. It was really groundbreaking. We're here. Disembark. Okay. Here we go. Let's 
Me first or not? Okay. Okay, get close to the crates and use the action menu. Okay. What on earth? <laughs> Did you mind? Dude! Motherfucker, he's trying to sabotage my attempts. What a bastard. Take M16 mags. There we go. Wait! Alright. Okay. There we go. So I can aim down sight like that or just use the mouse normally. Okay. Hooray! James Gustavsky. Christ, George, you scared the hell out of me. Yeah, I'm keeping fine. <clears throat> Sarah's fine too, I guess. Tell you the truth, I ain't seen her for months. Business? Terrible. But look, what's this all about? You're kidding me. No, I ain't heard nothing. Well, Jesus, George. There's 10,000 people in that town. They can't just have stopped talking to us. Well, I guess I'll be right over. And I think you spooks promised me the quiet life out here.
showtime. Rub the sleep out of those eyes, gentlemen. Colonel Blake will brief you. Attend hut! Thank you, Sergeant. Okay, men, at ease. At 0700 hours yesterday morning, contact was lost with Everon, the easternmost island in this group. The last communications that came from the island reported heavy military activity in and over the streets. From what we can ascertain, Everon has been occupied by a hostile force, origin unknown. As the only NATO presence in the area, it is our job to respond. Choppers are waiting to ferry you to Eberron. Any questions? Sir, you say the origin of the occupying force is unknown. How can that be, sir? Hasn't anyone, like, spoken to them? Believe me, we've tried, soldier. Our intelligence assets in this area are limited. I'm sure Washington is diverting satellites to the area like crazy. But this has caught them by surprise, and it's going to be a while before the first bird passes over. For our part, we sent a couple of helicopters to take a look yesterday. Neither returned. Sir, there's not many of us, and it sounds like there's a heck of a lot of them. Should we get some more of our guys over here before we try anything? A carrier battle group is heading for the area at flank speed, but it's still a few days away. And the longer we wait, the longer those guys, whoever they are, have to dig in and reinforce. Washington wants to move fast before Moscow gets involved, if they aren't already. We're going to have to do the best we can with what we've got. Those choppers are waiting, soldiers. You'll be brief further en route. Good luck. Dismissed. Okay, soldiers, you heard the colonel. Sounds like your holiday is not over just yet. Now gather up those kid bags and let's move. Okay. So a character who's pretty much a nobody, a simple private in an occupying force, is asked to respond to an occupation by an unknown force. Oh god, it's loud. Okay, simply follow our, follow our orders. What could go wrong? Okay. Here we go. Welcome to Everon.
We're going that way. Let's go. So where are we? One second. We start here. I'm going to fall behind if I'm not careful. The town of Morton, just down there. So we landed here, I presume. Here we go. Now we'll move into Morton from the left. We're Squad Alpha. Squad Bravo will support us from the right by the forest. When we reach the village, we'll wait for the air support. Mm. Once the enemy's armored units have been destroyed, we'll move in and seize the village. Now, no heroics, okay? This is not an exercise. We're facing a real enemy this time. Okay. Two, three, six, seven, eight, follow one. Four, so five. not only was this weird, oh, clunky three. game oh, two, two, standing seven, in sharp one, contrast two. to everything else on the market at the time, most players were about to get a rude introduction to the thing that really put it on the map. Here we go. What really made this game stand out amongst all its competitors is that it does not care. One bullet will kill the player instantly, sending you back to the start of the game. Someone's firing machine gun over my head. If you run in guns blazing, you just get shot and then it's straight back to the start. Who's shooting? Stand by. Yeah, there is an M16 burst. Stand by. Where's my... I've got hand grenades. Keep it in single shot. Okay. So, everyone's a glass cannon, basically. You're no Master Chief charging in, taking all the bullets. One bullet is all it takes. There's Morton down there. So if I run up there, like, oh, I'm, I'm the main character. I'm going to get shot. Here we go. Okay, I need to do what they're doing. Stay the fuck down. Contact. Four. Target soldier. Where are they? Where are they? Two o'clock? Where? Whoa. Are they on our side? One o'clock. Oh, who's that? Four. Movement. Are they hostile? Soldier. Hang on, let's go this way. Need to try and move into the trees if I can. And all yes, I can get friendly fired by my own guys. Whoop, who's that? Shit, someone just got shot. Okay. Where are they? Keep following the squad. If I go out alone, I'll get targeted. Whoa! One of the helicopters just struck one of the armor. Whoa! They're strafing with rockets, look. Who's that? There's a dude there, see him? Gonna mag dump. Reloading. Okay. Let's go this way. Whoop. You quickly learn to fear well, helicopters. Whoop. This is Papa Bear. We're done here. Proceed to village. Out. I can't remember, Zool. I'm going to be honest with you. I can't remember if the bullet... Fuck, who's that? Is that a Russian? That looks like a Russian. I think I went... I clipped him. Let's go. Stay low. Stay fucking low. 
So for those joining the stream, I'm with a squad of NATO soldiers who are responding to some sort of occupying force here in, well, on the island of Everon. We're next to the town of Morton, attacking whoever they are. Okay. Engage, soldier. Uh, no, I was, uh, I guess, well, like, 14, 15 when this came out? 15, probably. Yeah. Five, engage, soldier. But, but remember, you got to consider this in the context of its release back in the time, uh, back in the day. What other game had you firing at distant shapes and if you try to run forward and Rambo, you just get immediately insta-killed? Right. <laughs> Sambo was two. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, okay, good answer. Hidden and dangerous would be one of them. Oh. But even in that, you were like a proper commando, weren't you? You weren't just some random snot-nosed private. Oh shit, you hear that? That's a whirring of a tank. Is that one of ours or one of theirs? Oh, shit, who's that? Fuck, is that... What are we engaging? Careful. I hear something whirring. Oh, it's a friendly. I nearly railed a friendly. Where's my squad lead? Six, supporting oh. Abrams, 11 o'clock. Eight, engage, man. Oh shit. Roger. My target's up there? 11 o'clock, enemy, Whoa. soldier, 200. Gunfire from inside the town, firing at that squad. Oh, move to building, 10 o'clock. Moving to building. Let's go. Five, Delta, Juliet, six, eight, enemy, soldier, 100. Who's that? Five, target, man. Where are you? One, position, echo, oh, bravo. Don't six, get run over. Nine. Whoa! Who are you shooting at? Oh, nice, you got him. Where's my leader? There he is. Three, engage, man. Okay. Engage, target. Am I going to let the NPCs do everything? I don't want to get shot. Yeah, get shot. Let's get in there. Whoop. Any of these buildings look familiar to you at all? Seven, negative. Seven, return to formation. Not me. Okay. Holy shit. Six. Negative. Did they always have the blood puddle? I don't remember a blood puddle. Six. Return to formation. Reloading. Clear. Did we lose anybody? Okay. So yes, uh, and remember, yeah, with other games of its time, remember how many of your supporting AI were pretty much useless. It was all about the main character. Here, no, the AI is actually, you know, it can be a bit pants on head retarded sometimes, but it's it's real. It's fighting properly. Nice. 
one, position Delta, Juliet, six, nine. We did it. Holy shit. Sometimes you can actually genuinely fail and have to retreat. Okay. Fantabulous. Your objective is the village of Regina at the grid location FG81. Here we go. So down here. So if we just zoom out. Oops, sorry. Oh no. <laughs> For some reason it's, it's scrolling down on the chat as well. Whoops. So there was Morton. We're moving down here to Regina. Right. Um, liberate the village in a combined operation with the help of mechanized infantry and the Bravo tank force. Approach the rendezvous point at the five-ton truck along this road. Join with the Alpha mechanized infantry squad and the Bravo tank force. Await the order to attack from the cover of these trees. Seize the village of Regina. Notes. Combat. 1985. May, May the 9th. They tell you it'll be tough. Your first time under fire. And sure, no one was expecting it would be easy, but Christ... There were men dying out there, all around me. Were there? <laughs> Bullets so close to my head, I swear I could feel their heat. Mayhem. But we took the village, Morton. It was the first stepping stone on our way to liberating this island, Everon. And once we're in there, safe and settled, with the corpses cleared from the streets, all we could do is listen to the sounds of firing in the distance. Burgov yelled at us for a while, recapping basic training. I took a few notes, but... I but sincerely doubt I'll get a chance to refer to them next time. There are some Russians trying to put a few rounds in my brain. God, the very idea. It doesn't seem real. And now we've got a new objective. Another village. Regina, they call it. At least this time, we should have some tank support. We had tank support last time, dingus. Not getting hit, in capitals. When moving under fire, zigzag randomly. This gives the enemy less opportunity to lock, in, uh, lock you in your sights. Don't stray in front of your buddy or you might get shot in the back. When stopping, do so behind partial or full cover. A bush is concealment, not cover, since bullets can go straight through bushes. It makes you harder to find and hit. Try not to be predictable when moving from cover to cover. All the enemy has to do is aim and wait for you to run into his sights. When Oh, yeah, sorry, that's another thing. Hmm. So that's that's true. Uh, so again, I, I keep harping on about this. So loads of other games were just half assing this. But the enemy genuinely have like an idea of your position, which updates based on what they can see and hear. So they have like a yellow marker which says, here is the player, shoot at that. But if you run sideways through a tree and then they'll lose track of you, they'll continue to track where they think you'll be and shoot at that. So they're kind of like doing what you're doing, trying to determine your approximate position. It's clever. Again, that, so uh, this is like outsider art. Another company came along with no experience in development of stuff and made their own thing. And they didn't cut corners when it came to, um, to the, the fine details of how the AI should behave. After diving for cover, do not return fire from the point you dived in. The enemy is aware of your location and will be expecting to see you fire from there. Lie prone whenever possible. Mm -hmm. uh, don't get caught with the horizon or open sky behind you. Yes, you get instantly spotted. Okay, do not move and fire at the same time. It's pointless. Okay, there we go. Grenades. Okay, at this point in the game, there's no chance of me altering my stuff. Here we go. Right, let's go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Loud, really loud. Hard not to be excited, isn't it, Armstrong? After Morton, this should be a pushover. You're a head case, Kozlowski. You love this stuff, don't you? You're right, just look at this rifle. It's beautiful. The M16 A2, 15 rounds a second, perfectly balanced, and only weighs five pounds. How can you not love it? Like I said, Kozlowski, you're a weirdo. Yeah, Kozlowski, you stay away from me out there. Oh, Silver Lane, I remember Delta Force. Holy shit, blast from the past.
Okay. Hill, slight incline. Ah, wait for me. Here we go. Oh god, I'm on the far edge of the line. Fuck that shit. That's Regina. Unknown tank. They've got armor. Whoa. Our own armor is engaging it. It's destroyed. Okay. Whoa. Shit. Whoa. Machine gun fire from inside the town. Where? There. I think I hit something. Fuck, reloading. I got one! I think I got another one. I got him! He just fell down. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, what's that there? Whoa. BMP, I think. Okay, where's my squad? I'm losing them. Hang on. Let's go. Squidgy. Getting down. Whoa, they're in the open. Whoa, there's lots of them. They're running for the trees. Oh. Thank you, uh, Lululek. Thank you, you Lululek. Fuck. For those joining, welcome to the second mission of uh, Operation Flashpoint, as it was called. Thank you, Rocket Tom. Holy shit, thank you for your sub bomb. Thank you, Rocket Tom. We're here on the island of Everon, fighting some unknown force that's... Fuck. Whoa, shit. Whoa. Someone's... Oh, no. Squad just took it. Look, yeah, we lost someone. Fuck. So one bullet and it's back to the start. So fucking hell. Whoop. Oh god. Shit. We just lost another. And another. Where is he? Fuck. Nine o'clock, soldier. Crawling, 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 crawling. Fuck, is that him? Who's that? No, that's one of our. Shit, sorry, bro. Taking his M16 magazine, even. What? target soldier. Where? Thank you, Die Tato. Thank you very much, Die. Fuck, 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 fuck. Stay fucking down. Engage, soldier. Fuck. 
Let's go, moving up. Getting down. There they are. They're the soldiers that we shot. Okay. So yes, it was it was janky. Even even at the time, it was janky. But it was also real. You could tell that the game was not fucking with you. Those tanks, you can drive them. That helicopter that flies over, you can fly that. It wasn't just a bunch of floating... You weren't just a camera that's strapped to the front of a fucking, like, Segway or something. Like Ghost Recon, where you don't... Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. Can I save in this, in, in this difficulty mode? Okay, I think I've got one save. Shit. That's it. That's my one save point, I think. T-80 tanks are approaching. Retreat immediately. I hear trees breaking. Is that just our tanks or not? Let's go. No, it's not. It's coming from that direction. They're rolling through the trees. We get, yeah, get out of here. Get over the hill before those T-80 tanks clear it. Also, remember that this was 2001 and it came from a European studio. So after this... Uh-oh. No, it's our own armor. After this game, you saw the meteoric rise of American forces facing Middle Eastern terrorist groups for reasons that are probably quite clear. This game? No, this is still very much rooted in the Cold War. The enemy are the Soviet Union, with all of the hardware that that brings. You quickly, quickly learn to fear the Shilka. Oh, shit. Grenade just went off. Okay, keep moving back. But we don't know that, Fenkirk. That's the thing. We don't know that yet. We are just some random private in what we think is the start of World War Three. Sorry, for those that don't know what a Shilka is, it's a uh, it's an anti-air platform. Uh, so it's like a fast-firing, uh, liquid-cooled, multi-barreled uh, cannon? But not like a rotary cannon, not like a minigun or anything. It can, however, easily turn its weapon down to engage infantry, and for that reason it's a fearsome weapon. Under fire! Under fire? Oh shit! What about... Whoa! That's a lot of T-80 tanks. Okay. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, that's an arm... Yep, that's a heavyweight armor battle. Whoa, that's an entire armored... Okay, that's like four or five T-80s. Oh, shit. Thank you, Dash. Thank you very much, Dash. We've successfully retreated. Okay. So join with Alpha Mechanized Infantry. Assault the town. There we go. You, we'd, uh, so we'd almost seized Regina, but the incoming tanks forced a retreat. Regina is lost. The remaining troops are moving back to Morton. But don't worry, soldier. You did the best you could. We've ki I've killed five men. And we lost three members of the squad. Bugger. Okay.
Okay, so we're back in Morton. So, the occupying forces here are no pushover. You can see the area marked red here. Yeah, they've fully secured all of this section. So it looks like we've only really got the southeast side of the island. Armoured support, very heavy T-80s, state-of-the-art tanks. Okay. Your squad is to establish a field camp near the village of Lemul. Also, note how little we're being told. That's one of the elements of the game that also makes it quite interesting. We're just a private. We're just a nobody in this army. We're not told the bigger picture of what's going on, so we experience it from the grassroots. Again, no other game was really doing something like that. Uh, we're not like, oh, this is the progress of the war. There is no war. There's just some shitstorm that's brewing on this island in the middle of nowhere, and we're in the middle of it. Your squad is to establish a field camp near the village of Lemul. Where is that? Over here. Okay. Um, assemble in the centre of Morton at uh, 1655. Await the arrival of Sergeant Burkhoff, who will have further orders. May 10th, so the next day, 1985. So we took the village, Regina. Took it as ordered, held on to it for about two whole minutes. Jesus, what a mess. While I was still catching my breath, this tank platoon comes charging in from the south, and all hell breaks loose. To be honest, I was lucky to make it out alive. Some weren't so lucky. There are more empty spaces in our parade line. No one says anything, but we all notice them. Ivan's getting stronger in the south, but it looks like the center looks um, sorry, but it looks the center part of this island is almost under NATO control. Seems like we're settling in for a long fight. M16 and fuck all else. Okay, here we go. War's boring. Anyone else bored? You should learn to appreciate any downtime, Koslowski. <laughs> Makes combat more exciting. Okay, I spy with my little eye something beginning with G. Gun! Uh, no, it's not gun. It's gun, isn't it, Kozlowski? I saw you looking at it. <laughs> Jeez, you even cheated, I spy. No, it's not gun, it's G. <laughs> G doesn't start with G, you meathead. Okay, okay, okay. Not G. I mean grass. Grass? Heads up, guys. Here comes Burgoff. See you guys soon. Thank you, the classy man. Thank you. Okay, getting in the back. One second. Is there a way that I can fix that? Because not being able to see from inside the vehicles is a bit of a... Hang on. Let me turn them all down for a second. Is it controlled by one of them? Yes, but which one? Which one was it? Hang on. Audio options. I presume not radio. Okay, so it's music? What the fuck? I say again. Why would it be music? I say again. I say again. No, it's not music. Okay. <laughs> I say again. Is it radio? I say again. I say again. Hang on. Guess it's radio, but what the fuck? Hang on. I say again. I say again. No, oh, no, God, it's not. Oh fuck! You know what? I'm just gonna go third person. There we go. That's kind of annoying. Is it definitely effects? All right, I'm gonna turn it all the way down there for now. I say again. I say again. Alright, it's effects, it is. It's just super loud anyway. Oh. He's really quiet. I see, he's also an effect. So the whole of NATO command is twitchy. If these guys are Russians, which is what they sure as hell look like, oh, I shouldn't be telling you this. This is some countryside, ain't it? 
So again, we're told nothing. We know we don't know what's going on. Seven, we're not even privy to that info. Seven, five, get in truck. All right. Let's go. Oh, go to Delta, Juliet, six, nine. Follow him. So here's the other flex of Bohemia. Everything is drivable. Everything. How many vehicles did Halo have? A dozen? Released the same year? This one had like more than a hundred or something. Christ. It's gonna go third person. The audio is a bit fucked. Hang on. <laughs> gonna go third person and turn up the. Uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Follow that there. Right. Oh, go to Bravo, Juliet. Five, eight. Okay. So we're just on random grunt. Just doing what we're told here. Following that dude. What did Burkhoff say to you out there? He must know what's going on. Are we fighting another world war? Armstrong. Are you dead? Leave him alone, Kozlowski. He's driving. In any case, established Soviet military <clears throat> doctrine dictates that a direct attack on NATO should take the form of mass tank assaults at key points in Central Europe. They'd never begin World War III out here on Eberron. Yeah, well, it sure don't look like they're inviting us over for Moscow mules. Okay, so this area up here, according to the map, should be safe. We're moving up north through the central area that we've apparently got secured. Thank you, Dark Rush. Thank you very much, Dark Rush. Thank you, Spy Ridden. Thank you. So again, repeating what I said earlier for the peep, for the folks just joining. Yes. Yeah, so not only at the time did this knock people's socks off in terms of its uh, its its scope and its ambition, uh, the fact that it, they weren't really faking it. Again, it felt like outsider art, something that was showing that many of the conventions of gaming, such as levels, physical constrained levels, could could be broken. They didn't have to happen for every game. You can go everywhere on this whole damn island and nothing can stop you. You can drive any vehicle, nothing can stop you. They put in an editor so you can do it yourself. If the campaign... If there was something in the campaign you liked, pick this town, make a huge tank battle here if you wish. Oh, and you can command them all, by the way. You can order them around. You don't have to be some random private, you can order them, it's great. Use the same triggers that they're using here to make these people do stuff. 
Make Five, your own cutscenes. On the way. So why are we here? Thank you, Aesop. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> oh, move to three, three, one. Uh, Silverlanian, there's a mission later on in the game where you have to do that explicitly. Two, three, follow one. You don't have a map. Three, ready. Coming with me. We're going on patrol. The rest of you start turning this miserable patch of mud into a camp that Uncle Sam can be proud of. Fallon, you're in command while I'm gone. Oh, go to one, three, three. Oh, one, jeep. Okay. Roger. We've been selected to go on a patrol. Yay. Two, ready. Am I, am I driving or not? Hang on. Oh, move to one, one, four. Um, I don't think so, Entropy. I didn't see it on the campaign when I started it. Oh, move to Charlie Echo Five Zero. Okay, where are we? So we've moved up from Morton. Are we all near there? No, we go, do we go past there? Yeah, I think we're here, aren't we? So we're moving up the road towards the line. I think. <clears throat> Where's he taking us? What did we get? No, we're here, Lemuel. We went this way, didn't we? Yeah, we're checking out the nearby forest then. Okay, so there's Lemul. Why are the Russians attacking Everard? No one's sure at the moment, soldier. But someone must know, sir. What do you think's going on? I really don't know, soldier. Hi there, Jaden. Thank you. To use nukes? Soldier, I need you to stop yapping and start scanning that horizon. Sir, I, I was just wondering. Okay, so we're here. Patrol this section of the forest. Oh, move to zero, one, four. Did anyone see that? I thought I saw something moving through those trees. Let's go take a look. Oh, listen, Bart. Oh, stay alert. Oh, move to forest, five o'clock. Ah, good. Two, Binoculars. Ready. Three, ready. Four, ready. Let's go. Thank you, Firespack. Thank you very much, Firespack. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled. So yeah, remember, all of this expansive forests. yeah, this is all 2000, yeah, groundbreaking stuff here. Other armor games do shit like this, but yeah. You were like, what the fuck? You can go through every fucking forest, every hill, every valley, every quarry, every church, every castle. Yeah, there's like four castles, but fuck it. Just stretches on and on, look at it. On and on. Endlessly.
The map has no invisible walls at all. Twelve o'clock, target two hundred. Where? One oh, o'clock, unknown, man, two hundred. Where? Twelve o'clock, unknown, man, one hundred. Shit, there. Contact. Whoa, god damn. Got one. The other one down. They're out in the open. Get them when they're in the open. I got him. I got him. I think I got two. He said four. Where's the last dude? Don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot. No, another patrol just like us. Papa Bear, come in. Alpha Squad reporting. Hostile spotted. Over. Alpha Squad received and understood. Armored support on the way. Out. Clear. Did we get them all? I only saw three. One, two, three corpses. Where's the fourth dude? Maybe he miscounted? Hi there, Paydor. Thank you kindly. I'm working on an armor bullshittery right now. Um, give me a week and a half, I want to say. Fuck, who's that? No, one of us. I'm nervous because the final section is 37 segments long and I finished 36. The problem is the final segment is a bit of a oof. I'm going to take the weekend to relax, but... Yeah, I must admit, I'm kind of dreading it on Monday. Well, it's 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 week six, QQ Tenko, so um, it's already quite far through its uh, its work. I'm pretty confident, though. I think it's funny. Again, not for me to judge; it'll be for you to judge. So, yeah. Oh, move to forest, four o'clock. Okay. Sounds friendly. The incoming vehicle, probably an M113 type of APC. Thank you, Ketef Sky. Thank you very much, Ketef. And Firespack, Gorash, Aesop, and Spy Ridden. Thank you all of you for your kindness, folks. Hope you're having a lovely day. Also, hi there, Mag. Hope your dog is having a lovely day. No, wait, that sounds like a, a truck? Jeep, maybe? What's that? Oh, no, it is an M113. Yeah. Armored personnel carrier. Oh, who's that? 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 I got him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck. I'm going to lob a nade. Fuck. Where's my nades? There they are. Here I go. Don't cock up, don't cock up. Two? Just two. Okay. Oh, look. Spetsnaz. Oh, move to forest, three o'clock. Special forces. Clear. I mean, technically, they're some of the worst special forces in the world, but nevertheless, special forces. Okay, this way. Careful, don't get jumped. Oh, what have I done? I'm waddling, what did I press? <laughs> I misclicked something, whoops! 
Like that. N nearly shot my friend. Oops, I pressed something without realising. What have I... <laughs> Anyone know what I've done? Hang on. X, no. Z, no, let's lie down. Numpad, enter. I'm slow walking. Hang on, what have I done? Uh, options, controls, one second. Uh, slow, what's that, sorry? Strafe left, slow forward. I press Q, there we go. Q is a slow walk forward. There we... No? E? Not E. R? Let's reload. C? Oh, move to forest! 11 o'clock! Alright, I'm just gonna run. Oh, board jeep! Roger! Let's go. Get back, back in the jeep. Okay. W and S together? No. Weird. I'm not sure, Ali. Alas, um, I was never really the ones to instigate the Counter-Strike games. That was typically either Cy or Edberg. And, um, yeah, we don't really do much CS anymore. I'm just a... Oh, there we go. I can do... I'm fine. Yeah, I'm really just a tree in the breeze. I just kind of... Like, yeah, let's play. Okay. Thank you, River Rick. Thank you, River Rick. Okay. Back in the Jeep we go. We survived. We all survived. Wasn't necessarily the case back when I was younger. Uh. At ease. Oh, go to Bravo. Juliet, five, eight. Okay. Enemy patrol countered. And I've also just murdered like four dudes. Note that note the design of the buildings by the way. You can see the genesis of ideas that would eventually result in later armor things. Recognize that from Chinaris? What are we doing? Why is he driving slowly? What's he doing? Maybe the AI is still in combat mode or whatever? Okay. What is he doing? <laughs> Okay. Oh, there we go. But yeah, it, the game has that, um, not sure, what, well, a milsim quality, doesn't it? A simple patrol. Go into a forest and shoot at some dudes who are trying to shoot at you. That's it. Come back to camp, get chow, sleep. Do we know what's going on? No. Are we told what's going on? No. Will we have a meaningful chance to make any difference? No. There we go. Right. Private David Armstrong. So, we managed to move to the uh, town of Lemul and we set up a small base and successfully performed a patrol. You successfully transported the troops as ordered and established a field camp near Lemul with the rest of your squad. During your recon patrol in the northeast area, you found some enemy soldiers infiltrating our sector and acted accordingly. You can now return to Morton and relax this evening. I murdered four men. Also, for some reason, my brain is actually... I, I've got like a twisted wire here. 
I thought for some reason it actually told you their names? I guess I'm wrong. For some reason I thought that it literally told you their names, the names of the men that you've shot. They do have names. You can actually go into the editor and see that they have names. So, um, hmm. Yeah, I've killed four men. Sleep well. Okay, so... After a hard day's work hammering in tent pegs, you're free to enjoy an evening's R&R &R in Morton. Meanwhile, the lieutenant is returning to Lemuel to inspect your handiwork. That's it. That's the mission. Just chill in the town. There's not much to do here in Morton. Guess I'll just hang around and chew the fat with the guys. Okay. That's it, really? Just stand around? Yeah, in Morton. See what I mean? It's all very small scale. Man. This evening you can put your feet up and relax. You've earned it. I'm going back to Lemu. You're in charge. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ah. Isn't everyone a nice place? Why would the Russians come here, hmm? Hmm. Something tells me you won't be doing much relaxing this evening. Oh yeah? If you ask me, the fun's over. Whoever's been causing trouble has got the message of the moose. You wanna bet? Yeah, sure, I wanna bet. What do you wanna bet? Ah, I don't know. How about we get shot at this evening, you give me your digits. If you don't get shot at, I'll give you my mini munchies. Okay, but you have to admit, it sounds real quiet out there. What's a mini lunchman? Is an M60 in the tent, Chris? Is it really? Hang on. Uh, how, do, how do I just stand up without putting my gun in my hand? Fuck it. Hang on. Fuck it. There we go. Uh, dr take M60. Oh my god, you're correct. Does it have any magazines, though? Holy shit, I never checked the tent. <laughs> got one magazine. Uh, what have I got? Hang on. Does anyone copy? Oh shit. I am under heavy fire uh -oh. at location Delta Charlie 6 4. Urgent assistance required. Please respond. Repeat. Oh, under heavy fire. Uh oh. Oh, go to 3, 1, 2. God uh, damn it, let's go. All units report immediately to center of village. The Papa there, give me an infantry carrier. The lieutenant needs backup at location Delta Charlie 64. Put M60 to machine gun. Okay, it's good. Let's go. Oh, board M113. Roger. Let's go. Into the APC Eight, we go. Three, four, ready. Two, ready. Right. Delta, Delta, six, four, Here we go. Five, waiting. The lieutenant is taking fire. There, just up the road. The Russians are behind the line. All right. For those joining the stream, not sure what you're looking at, you're looking at Operation Flashpoint, the first game that predates the armor series, but you can clearly see the inspiration. I ain't heard no shooting yet. Nah, he's probably just kidding around. You know what he's like. Probably just another big exercise. But when this came out, it knocked everyone's socks off. This outsider studio from the middle of nowhere were, were doing things in their game that no other game was doing at the time. No level boundaries, no invisible walls. Scores of vehicles, all of which you could use. Combined arms warfare, in which you're a small part of a bigger thing. A sort of slice of, of, of life experience of a soldier in a battle who has no real influence in how it goes. That looks like the oh. Jeez, what a mess. And one bullet and you're oh, a dead man. Here we go. Two, 
Don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot. Whoa, 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 what was that? Let's move out. Go, go, go. Stick together and stay near the road. Careful. Whoa, someone threw a nade. Whoa, look at that. That was an RPG? Where? Those are grenades. Someone's trying to eliminate the uh, the um, M113. Whoa, it's one of us. Oh no, fuck, we just lost our M113. Did the crew survive? Whoa, careful, 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 fuck. Whoa. Hit the deck, hit the deck. Whoa. Fuck, someone's shooting back. Moving. There, 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 there. Down. Papa Bear, this is Alpha Squad. We need backup and transport at Delta Charlie 6 4. He's down low. Over. Oh, move to Can't see him. Standing up. I've got him. Hit. Our backup's two minutes away. Stay the fuck down, stay the fuck down. Whoop, there they are. I got him. Cool. Let's go, nice and careful. Indeed, Scrotos, helicopters and shilkers. You learn to fear them. Absolute man killers they are. I'm surprised we're doing so well. Like, I would have expected we'd, we'd lose more people. Shit, the bed. Whoa. Nice shot. Is this the lieutenant or his driver? Hang on. Damn, that's the lieutenant. He's dead. I'm going to take the binoculars just to make sure I've got a set. Whoa, who's that? There. Fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm ramboing. I'm going to get myself shot. Soldier is history. Four, target man. Two o'clock, enemy man. Careful, mate. Careful. Five, engage. They're down there in the forest. I can hear them. Five is down. We lost the squad, mate. Two, target 18 soldier. Where are they? Who's that? Oh, shit. There's a lot of them. Is that them? It is them. Is it them? Is that our side or their side? Whose side is that? None of our guys are shooting at them. Why? Where's my... Yeah, I've got the binoculars from the lieutenant. Russians. Yep, definitely Russians. Woo. Dude, get out my line of fire. Dude. Fuck. I got one. Oh, shit. Dude. Oh, shit. I wounded him. Sorry, is it definitely... Russians? Oh shit, he's dead. Oh no! Friendlies! I just killed a friendly. I've murdered an, an, a murdered an American. Ah! Oh. Oh, that sucks. That was the backup. Fog of war. I thought it was a Russian helmet. It was a medic. Fuck. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Welcome to the party. Get your asses over here and give us a hand. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, follow one. All engage at will. All. Oh, that one, sucks. Zero, one. All disengage. <laughs> I just murdered a man. All move to zero, one, zero. All board truck. Three, ready. Eight, ready. Seven, ready. Okay, Nine, boarding truck. Ready. Ten, ready. 
Three, ready. Seven, ready. Two, ready. Eight, waiting. Ten, waiting. Four, waiting. So the lieutenant is dead. And we lost a couple of squad mates, I think. <laughs> okay. We lost number five. Oh, shit. Empty benches. Thank you, the pyro guy. Thank you, pyro. So, we're moving back to Lemul. There we go. Oh, no. Score minus 1,400. You eliminated the enemy force, but there was no way you could have saved the lieutenant. Now you're back in Lemul awaiting your next assignment. Your kills, a single friendly, a medic. Also, we lost two members of our squad, Bird and Self. Shit. Moving towards the town of Montignac. Montignac must fall. Our mission to force back the invaders on Everon continues. Your next objective, the objective is to seize the village of Montignac, currently occupied by the hostile force. The truck will unload our squad in the forest here. So, do whoopsie. Just to the west side of Montignac. Uh, northwest from Mo Montignac at, uh, yeah, so early in the morning. Seize Montignac. You will be up against infantry with some armoured support. Alpha Squad, our team, will move in from the west. Bravo, Bravo Squad will come from the north and Charlie Squad from the northwest. So watch out for friendlies. After securing the village, Alpha and Bravo Squads should join together and wait for the truck. The truck will transport squads back to the main camp. Charlie Squad will stay uh, on guard in the village. Okay. May 14th, 1985. So that's four days later. Things have slowed down here on Everon during the last couple of days. We built a camp in Lemul, and more troops arrived to build another camp further to the north. Since this base camp was built, we've, we've just been waiting around for two days. Playing poker, relaxing, and trying to forget we're in some kind of war. But we're defin definitely in for some action this morning. Seems like there'll be another village which needs clearing. Montignac. There's a truck coming in a minute to take us there. What's really getting to me right now is that I could be dead in a few hours, but no one back home has any idea what's going on here. As far as they know, we're still here in training. Still sitting around, still firing at wooden targets on the range, not facing Russian tanks. God damn it, where's that truck? So again, sort of jumping ahead, um, the end of the game, spoiler warning, it, it's got a very dissonant sort of lack of closure. There's this wonderful... The final mission of the game is basically going to a pub to reminisce with some war buddies like the game doesn't have some big climactic medal ceremony there is no big uh fight the bad guy and save the world it just kind of ends and you're expected to return to civilian life as if nothing happened it's i don't think it was on purpose but in context it becomes its legacy is one of I don't know, it's kind of... The, the word I would describe is haunting. It's a very haunting ending for a very realistic game. Perhaps... Well, I've no experience in this, but perhaps somewhat similar to what perhaps real veterans would feel in that you're driving through Everon and nothing has really changed and tractors are going about their business and everyone just seems to be walking through the streets that, well, to you, a short time ago, you were fighting tooth and nail to not get shot in the face and it's just a case of everything continues as normal? It's very effective. It had a very effective ending. Okay, let's go. We'll rendezvous with Bravo and Charlie squads after seizing the village on the main crossroads. Okay. Yes, at no point does the game ever glorify this shit. You get shot and it's on to a you are dead screen. With some quote, as the one that I said it in the video I say, about how much war sucks and how much you suck for thinking that war doesn't suck. The game is ground is it's very grounded, gritty, slice of life of a of a soldier's experience, I suppose. And um yeah, it stands in extremely sharp contrast to all the other games at the time, which were like, yeah! Violence! Woo! This one is like, no! Violence fucking sucks. 
Thank you, Bunny All. Thank you very much, Bunny All. Yeah, there's no Unreal Tournament voice screaming monster kill or whatever the fuck. You get a list of the people that you've murdered. Black to Papa Bear. Shit. Delta Foxtrot 25 under heavy attack from the sea. Send back up. We can't hold out much longer. Over. DF2. Papa Bear to Black. Keep it up. Back up on the way. Over. DF25. Yes, sir. We'll do our best. Out. That's further north. That's the top line. He heavy attack from the sea. From the sea? The enemy have just been reinforced from the sea. Thank you, Astol. Thank you very much, Astol. Would I recommend the game, Smaug? Probably not now in 2022, but as a if you if well if you want to go back and see the uh, whoop shit, I suppose the genesis of ideas that later came and Shh, shit. I think we just lost armor. Where are we? Four, supporting zero, seven, We're three, here. Where's my eight. compass? Do I have a compass? Four, ready. We're moving along here. That's the north. Four, supporting zero, seven, three, six. Let's go. Roger. Shit, yeah, we just lost our APC. There's the town. Where are we? Try not to silhouette myself. The AI Ready. will just light me the fuck up. Ooh. Bravo and Charlie teams are down. We're getting our asses kicked here. Hold fire and retreat. Okay, we're oh, falling back. Hold fire. Oh, go to three, one, three, eight. Their teams got wiped out. That's it. We're pulling the fuck out. Indeed, that was quick. Grenades. Okay. So yeah, we're getting the fuck out. Fall back. Yeah, I can barely see either. It's going to be daylight soon, but... Hang on. Keep moving. Indeed, Beast. Haunting. That would be the best way to describe the game experience. Okay, we're getting in a truck and we're getting the fuck out of here. I can't oh, remember if... Truck. If you can actually succeed on that mission... Quickly, 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 quickly. Three, ready. Five, waiting. Two, ready. All, oh, move to Charlie. Alpha, four, two. Four, waiting. Okay. Indeed, Beast. In fact, I think it's the next mission that is probably going to bring back memories for a lot of people. Is it the next mission? That's it. We failed. The other teams got wiped out. That's it. Okay, so we failed. The mission ended before it could even really start. No one's quite sure what went wrong, but most of our platoon was killed or injured. You've retreated to base camp. Moving towards Lemul. Here it is. After the disaster at Montignac, the enemy has gained the upper hand. NATO has decided, has decided to withdraw from Everon altogether and regroup on Malden. You're going to Morton to evacuate from the island. 
You start here in this jeep with your commander near Lemul. Get into this truck as the driver. Drive to Morton. Get ready in Morton to evacuate Everon. So, same day. We're out of here. And what a lucky break. I'll be driving a truck. The first convoy going out of our area. I can't wait to leave this island. Okay, we've taken an ass kicking, but at least I'm going to be getting out alive. Okay. Is this it? Uh, sorry, those that know what I'm talking about, have I missed the mission? By having most of my squad survive? Hang on. Whoa, sorry. Too loud, sorry. We're getting out, we're getting out. Oh no, Chris, so I've missed it. Oh! Okay. Oh, that sucks. Can I go back? Yeah, hold up. Shit, can I... Can I do a redo? Okay, so... Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. Um, abort? Abort? Campaign? I don't think that's ever happened. I don't think I've ever seen that. Continues. Montignac must fall. Here it is. Replay mission revert? Open the book. I seem to remember a if I revert here, which one does this revert to? Hold on. Moving towards Lemul. Okay, so cancel. Campaign. Strange meeting. Here we go. Revert here then. Here we go. Sorry, I don't want to miss... Yeah, I, I don't want to miss one of the best mi missions in the game. Here we go. So we're attacking Montignac again. Okay, let's go. We'll rendezvous with Bravo and Charlie squads after seizing the village on the main crossroads. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, I'm doing it again. Why am I doing that silly walk? I pressed something. What have I pressed? Double click? No. Shift click. Oopsie. Oops. I think I've just alerted the Russians. <laughs> Ivan, did you hear gunshot? I did. Turn all guns that way. Fuck. How have I done this? I've gone. I've activated a slow walk. See? Is it C? Sorry, this is going to annoy me. Um, controls. Move down. Slow forward. Q? Toggle weapons fire. Is there a toggle that I've initiated? Uh, 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 time acceleration. First third person tactical view. Looks like E. I thought so too. Hold down E? Yeah, I'm just fat, yeah. I'm just gonna have to sprint awkwardly. Black to Papa Bear. Delta Foxtrot 25 under heavy attack from the sea. Send back up. We can't hold out much longer. Over. Papa Bear to Black. Keep it up. Back up on the way. Over. Yes, sir. We'll do our best. Out. Oh, it's the F key. Thank you very much. Thank you, Serik. Yeah, you were right, Serik. And, yeah, thank you, man. Shit. Okay, there we go. You know what? I'm just going to kind of get up there because we're turning this way anyway. Don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot. That sounds like a BMP. That better not be a BMP. Doing exactly what I said a minute ago that I should not do. Are they Russian? Yep, they are. You're dead. Got him. All three are dead. 
Oh, hello. Someone's shooting at me. Get my head down. Reload. There's my squad behind me. Oh, hello. Someone does not like me. Are they friendly? Whoa. Standing up. Fuck, 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 fuck. Don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot. I think they're friendly. I think. Just got to move from my squad. Here we go. I know, I could barely see them either. Just like a rough shape. Oh. That's kind of haunting. The scream of a man getting shot. Whoa. See that gunshot? Fuck. Switch to burst fire. Move my way. Standing up. Move with the squad. Oh, I'm vulnerable. Okay, entering the village. The village is ours. Get over yes. here with the truck. Over. Thank you, Comshays OKs. Thank you, Comshays. Oh. 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 Papa Bear to all units. Follow instructions for evacuation. Out. Papa Bear, this is Alpha. We're still in Montagnac. What should we do? Over. Alpha, go straight through Provence to Morton. Move quickly. Out. Copy that. Okay. We're, we're like as far north as it goes, insofar as the line, I think. Where are we going? Morton? Oh, follow five. Where's five? One, ready. Where's my squad? Is this my squad? Oh, board truck. Truck. Seven. There. Ready. Roger. Five. Position Delta. Hotel. Four. Six. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's probably save it there. <laughs> Hang on. Get in, get in, get in. Ride in the back. Oh, someone's still alive. Okay, yeah, I, I want to get to the Seven, memorable mission. Waiting. Four, ready. Three, waiting. One, ready. Two, waiting. Okay, we're moving. Okay. Where are we going? So the AI is trying to negotiate Pathfind around the wreckage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second gear, yeah. <laughs> so as far as I understand it, well done, yep. <laughs> So it's using the roads as its primary marker, but then it has to... What the hell is it doing? I, I realize we're panicked and we're trying to get off Everon, but... <laughs> yeah, the, the, eight, yeah, the APC has confused it. It doesn't know where to pathfind. It's fine. It's working its way to the solution. See? See? It's fine. It's, it's all good. Here we go. Delta, Juliet, four, seven, target 500, eight, ready. Okay. Eight, waiting. So, for those joining the stream, welcome indeed. I think we're on mission four, roughly. Um, of uh, the original Operation Flashpoint, which was the very first game that would turn into the Armour franchise. Oh, we're disembarking. 
We're playing as a grunt, as part of a NATO task force to defend these islands in unspecified, like, Mediterranean area, I guess? But all of a sudden, the Soviets have attacked. Shit, that's a Soviet UAZ. Whoa, hit the deck. Where? Where, 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 where? Whoa. Where? Papa Bear, this is Alpha Rear. We're engaging Russian forces near Proven. Wait over. Alpha, eliminate them quickly. Time is running out. 12 o'clock. Enemy. BMP. BMP? Three. Engage. BMP. Who's got the AT gun? Quick. Oh shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Give me the AT. Give me the AT. I've got him. Give me the AT. Is it loaded? I've got it. Take. Oh god. Oh shit, 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 shit. Uh, weapon, 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 weapon. I mean, oh, thank God for that. He got it, he got it. Okay, quickly. Oh, no, no, no. Weapon M16. One's down. We lost the officer. Whoa. We lost the AT guy. Back up. Back up, back up. Our leader's a kilometre away now. Is it just just us guys? Just us three? Papa Bear, this is Alpha. They destroyed our truck. We need alternative transport. Over. Four. Engage. Soldier. We're sending a Black Hawk to pick you up. Out. Okay. Wait for the Black Hawk. Who's that? He's on my team, I think. Okay. Soldier, soldier, soldier. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh god, they're behind us. No, wait. Aha, so, uh, ah, good. So it's the AI's understanding of where the enemy is. Can you see what I mean? Again, Bohemia didn't fake shit. The AI has an understanding of where you are, which adapts based on what it sees and what it predicts. Seven, return to formation. Fuck. Four, return to formation. Six, fall back into formation. I've been ordered back a kilometer that way. Our leader fell behind. Where's where's the rest of the guys? Fuck. Clear. Clear. There he is. God damn. Thank you, um, BW Sati, thank you very much, BW. So just me and two guys, that's it? We're the only survivors in the squad. So where's our black hole? Seven, fall back into formation. Oh, Four, who's that? Return to formation. Six, fall back into formation. Okay, our lead is coming down the road at 600 meters. Thank you, mechanical mind. Thank you. So I presume this corporal was left behind in the town of Montignac. And now he's the one in command with the death of the lieutenant, and the, the, the lieutenant and the sergeant. Is that him? No, he's a bit further back. Thank you, Mechanical Mind and Comshays, Fierce and Creature and Astral. Thank you all of you for uh, all of you for subbing, folks. Is that him? That's him. Right, we're with him. I'm keeping the Carl Gustav rifle thing. Is that my character breathing? Yep. You're no, you're no Rambo. You can't really shoot while running. You can't reload while running. 
You run out of breath really easily. You can't carry much in terms of ammo and equipment. You're a tiny part of a bigger machine. And you're told fuck all and ordered to march in whatever direction. Yeah, it's a proper milsim. But there's also long periods of quiet where nothing is happening, punctuated by uh, extreme moments of violence. And then at the very end, you're told to just go home and pretend it didn't happen. Reintegrate into society. Good luck. How can you? How can you murder a whole bunch of guys and just just go home? Okay. So that's, sorry, for those not familiar, a slight spoiler. So that's the ending, effectively. There is no big climactic showdown or some medal ceremony with Princess Leia. It's quite literally, just go home. That's it. The war doesn't escalate into a nuclear one. Both sides, it becomes politically expedient to just forget the whole thing happened. Okay, where's our Black Hawk? Thank you, Odorix. Thank you very much, Odorix. Holy shit. Yeah, he's been fucked. Big time. Take his binoculars. Whoa, shit! Whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Where? There's a hidden Russian somewhere. Four, engage, officer. Where is he? Four, waiting. All, cease fire. All, disengage. All, at ease. At ease? All, move to three, eight o'clock. Moving on. Fuck. Oh, oh. go, go, go. Sim is down. Alpha Black Hawk is on way. Hold on out. I got him. It's just me and this one dude. That's it. It's me and this one dude. That's all that's left of the entire force of Alpha Squad that attacked Montignac. Thank you, King Sheezal. Thank you, King. Black Hawk is on the way. I hear it. Clear. Yeah, he said at ease. No worry, eh? Yeah, no problem. Oh look, enemy bunker, holy shit. Thank you, Golden Sander. Thank you, Golden. Here he comes. Here's rescue! Hooray! We all know what's gonna happen next. Sounds like a very different rotor, you hear that? Gunship. Enemy gunship. Six. Stay alert. That's a hind. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Right, I'm going this way. Yeah. Seems like a very good idea. The Black Hawk is gone. Shit. Get into the forest quickly before it IDs my exact position. Sprays me with that 
uh, that weapon. Where's the other dude? Fuck. Where's my friend? Shit. Oh, is he, he's alive. He made it. Okay. We did it! So, we failed to seize the town. What a disaster. The Black Hawk was destroyed. You survived and escaped into a forest, but now you're completely lost. I managed to kill five people in total with the casualties of pretty much the entire squad. Hidden in the forest. Here we go. This is the most memorable mission in the game. You are somewhere in the forest. You must get out of here quickly if you want to save your life. Get to, the get to the rendezvous point of Morton. So we are pretty much as far north as it went, sort of. Where was the line? The line was here, wasn't it? There is no line anymore. The Russians have pretty much pushed us back. So, same day. I'm alone. Lost in enemy territory. The rest of my squad have been massacred. The radio seems to be screwed up. I've got enemies coming in from all directions. There's no transport available. And NATO is evacuating from Everon right now. Christ, I've got to get out of here. I've got to head to Morton and rejoin our forces, but it ain't going to be easy, so here goes nothing. Oops. The last evac from Everon is at 5.45 hours. Out. 5.45. I'm on my own. Come in, over. We're alone. Papa Bear, come in. Papa Bear, this is Alpha. Damn this radio. Why don't they hear me? Okay. All that combined op stuff? Small part of a bigger thing? Oh god. We're now completely alone. Whoop! Ah! <laughs> and that's the end of David Armstrong. Just like that. Okay. Let's try that again. Run! The last evac from Everon is at 5.45 hours. Out. Papa Bear, this is Alpha. I'm on my own. Come in, over. Okay. Papa Bear, come in. Papa Bear, this is Alpha. Damn this radio. Why don't they hear me? Do I have a compass? In my gear? I can't remember. Don't think I do. Do I? Is there a compass key? Did that come later in armor too? K. I thought so too, but it's not working. Fuck. Look at the contours on the map, maybe? To determine which way's uphill? That way looks uphill. So what? That's east? Gotta find some landmark. Let's go this way. Top right of the map. Oh yes! I do have a compass. That's not helpful. Oh hang on, does it turn? It does. So that's south? Is that what that... Does the needle indicate north? West. I guess so, because that goes uphill. Okay. So we want to go this way. Yeah. Okay, so we're completely alone, cut off behind enemy territory with patrols sweeping for survivors. The enemy have air support, armor, and pretty soon complete control of all of Everon. Again, I feel like a bit of a, a, a looping record here, but again, con con consider the context of 2001. What other games were doing stuff like this? One bullet, that's it, you're toast. Shit, I hear, I hear armor. Enemy armor somewhere. Yeah, 
knocking down trees. Something scoping for us. They know that there was a squad that fled here, so... I hear it. You hear it? Yeah, Delta Force would be a good example. I remember Delta Force. Is that there? Is that a Russian patrol? No, it's a bush. Keep following the forest line. Whoa, enemy BMP. What's it doing? Where's it going? <gasps> oh, shit. I think another survivor just got waxed. Did you hear that? Someone just screamed in pain. Shoot them, says Neo. <laughs> There's another dude up there. Is he another patrol or is that another American? There could be another American trying to make it. Oh, piss. Okay, let's go. Have they gone? Let's go, let's go. Oh, there's... What's that up there? Oh, God. That's another squad. Pop a bear to all squads. 15 minutes to go. Report your positions. Over. Position 15 minutes. We'll have visual contact in a few seconds. Out. We're at Delta Delta 6-9. Looks like we'll make it. Out. Location Delta Foxtrot 6-5. We're okay. Out. Where am I? I'm at fucking Delta India 5-6. That means I'm... That means I'm by far the furthest north, isn't it? I'm, I'm a good 10 grids further than everyone else. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna be completely alone. I'm probably the furthest NATO force on ever on right now. And force is a strong word. Shit. Just get a car. That'd be nice. Oh, 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 oh okay. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Have I been seen? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm okay. <laughs> Could be. This is Papa Bear. Priority. Enemy forces advancing on Morton from the southeast. Evac zone getting hot. Expedite. Out. Shit, another group. Another group. See him? I'm here. I've got to be here, I think. Right? Papa Bear here. Priority. I repeat. That's an American. Priority. Is that an American? Morton is under heavy fire. We're falling back. Evac zone overrun. Fuck. I've just got to peg it. I've got to get to that forest. I've got to go. We're out of time. Final evac flight leaving now. Sorry, guys. Oh. Out. Fuck, All is that a shulker? This is Papa Bear. We've got a new evac point for you. <laughs> Echo Alpha 6-4. Out. Oh, God. 
What is that? T-72. Echo Alpha 6-4. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I'm so gonna die. Anyone left on Everon? Repeat. All remaining troops on Everon. Try to get to the evac point at Echo Alpha 6-4. Good luck. God be with you. We've got to get to Echo Alpha 6-4. Shit. Oh fuck, it's going to get brighter and brighter. There you can piss off. It's two T-72 tanks. Crashing into the trees and each other. Oh, I just, I'm just going to fucking... <laughs> That's terrifying. All right, I'm just going to have to crawl. I've got... What can I do? Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Feeling mighty small right about now. See me, don't see me, don't see me. My character is going to have an asthma attack any second. Uh, no, I haven't, Ghost Llama. Okay. Get in the tree. Okay, rest. Where are we? So direct south. I think we're here. So probably DH59. Probably. We need to get to Echo Alpha 64, which is. Is that it? Echo Alpha 64. There it is. So, cross here. So, follow the tree line south on this side. Okay. Fagara, almost certainly occupied. Let's go. So, follow the tree line carefully around. And if we have to retreat into, into the forest, then we do so. I think G's grenades, isn't it? I'll press it anyway. Oh no, you're right. Thank you very much. I wasn't pressing G because I thought it threw a grenade. Thank you kindly. So, I think we're roughly here? Or did I cross here? Which way did I go when I made that pegging run here? Yeah, probably here? Okay. So I need to cross... Hello. Might be a good idea to maybe save it now? Look, the squad. Okay, I'm going to use my, I think, one and only save here. I think we're here. Here we go. Right. So. 
We need to get there. Whatever's there. One squad going that way, the other squad going the other. Stay low. Can I snipe the pilot? Uh, my bullet would harmlessly ping off the cockpit. As far as I know. I'd need something a bit bigger. Oh! Ouch! I just got shot. I just got fucking shot. Hang on. Am I okay? Can I stand up? I can. Ow. Ow. Okay, hang on. What got hit? I think I got hit in the chest. Shit the bed. <laughs> this way. Somebody saw me and they're probably advancing on me with grenades. I didn't even fucking... Yeah. Didn't even hear the shot. It was just... I wonder if it's a silenced weapon. Oh! No, it's just mud. I thought I was getting shot at again. Oh! God! Jesus Christ! Oh! Were you alone or with the squad? Fucking hell. Shit, that's a big squad approaching me. Where did I get hit? Wasn't in a limb, that's good. At least I've still got mobility. There's a big squad coming my way. Let's crawl into this hedge. Okay. Oh, shit. That's a sweep. I'm right in the middle of a sweep. I'll never make it. I'll never be able to cross the road. I must be here, I guess. Here? Here? Indeed, it seems the hind has run out of pre-programmed waypoints. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've just got to wait for the two infantry groups to pass. I hear a BMP closing in. So that's the at ease squad. Where's the sweep? I'll move in behind them. There they are, there's the sweep. So they're passing each other. Thank you, Tico Holic. Okay, I'm moving now. Oh, there's another one behind them. God damn, there's so many Russians. Soviets even, not Russians. Hang on. The BMP's behind me, I can hear him. <laughs> Never gonna survive. Just started raining. The weather's changing. Uh, 
Uh, I hear a BMP. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. No, 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 no. No. Oh no, the BMP's gonna sight me. Oh no. Was he a runner? Like a, like a messenger or some shit? Get in the hedge, get in the hedge, get in the hedge. Don't let the BMP shoot me in the feet. Oh, a knock. BMP, leave me alone. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm okay. Right? That was close. Fuck a duck, that was close. Okay, I have to go now before those two platoon... Those two patrols come back. God, it's so open. I've got nothing. What can I do? I've got to go now. Oh, fuck. Fuck it, I'm just going to peg it. <laughs> don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot. Don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot. Don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot. There's another patrol just in front of me. I just saw him. Did you see him? I saw him. There's four of them, I think, at least. Don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot. There they go, they're going back. Is that the same group or a different one? I don't know. Stay low. Get into the first! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Fuck me. Fuck me. I made it. I made it. Okay, hang on. Right, G. So I'm he I'm here, I guess? So shimmy down the forest. Find out if any other American units made it to this alternate evacuation point. Whatever that means. Fuck. So if you're just joining, welcome. I'm a sole survivor. It's a tent. Okay, I made it. Who's here? Shit. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! One seven five eight two, Corporal David Armstrong. Отведите его в камеру смертников. Hmm. Who is this? Whoop. 
Got him. Whoop. There we go. Right. You're alive, you're, but you're being held captive by the resistance army. Nobody knows what happened to you. Okay. So. Lower your weapon, American. Stay right where you are. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Give me your name. ID and rank. 17582, Corporal David Armstrong. And your unit? You don't need to know that. We will take you to Commander Slava. Take it slowly, and don't try anything clever. Commander Slava, Radim and Thomas have taken a captive and are returning to camp. Welcome, Corporal Armstrong. My apologies for the manner of your arrival. Hey, don't worry about it. Now perhaps you crooks would like to take me back to wherever the hell you abducted me from before a squadron of Black Hawk gunships comes looking for me. As soon as you've heard what we have to say, you will be returned an arm to your unit. The Everon Freedom Alliance has no quarrel with NATO. The Everon Freedom Alliance, is it? A grand name for a poor band of men and women who simply wish to see our Russian visitors leave this island as quickly as possible. Preferably in coffins, of course. I know how you feel. I'm not sure that you do. This is our home. We will defend it at all costs. You Americans, now you have seen a few Russians. You're running away like chicken seeing a hawk. Hey man, who are you calling chicken? We didn't ask for this fight, and we're doing the best we can. One minute I'm in a training camp, then all my friends are dead. I'm sorry about your friends. But I have lost everything during these few days. They killed my wife. They killed my boy. They burned my house. There are few things remaining in my life. And this group of people is what- I, um, I'm sorry. The Russians are killing civilians? Why would they do that? They want to control the island, not to slaughter- My friend, you have obviously no idea who you're facing. These soldiers are so far from central government that we are not sure if they obey orders from Moscow or from some other source. We are at the end of the world. And the Russians here show us how they hate this place. Look, Slava, I don't think our command knows about your people. I have to get back and report. We will take you with us. You will meet our leader in our main base, and he will contact your people. But first, we have our own mission to complete. Every man is useful to us. We need your help. Of course. After all, you saved my skin back there. Okay. So a third faction in this game. Right. Uh, looking at the time, though, folks, it is it is it is about a quarter to eleven, so I'm probably going to leave it there for this evening. But yeah, Operation Flashpoint. Uh, you can probably see why many people fell so quickly in love with it back in 2001. Yeah, that mission was particularly chilling. Um, God damn it! I'm, I'm surprised I did that in one go. Well, skipping the death at the beginning. So many times have I been killed on that one mission. Um, yeah. Very tense, very atmospheric, doing lots of things that no other games were doing uh, by an outsider studio. It, uh, yeah, quickly rose to the top on many people's favourites lists, or f yeah, list of favourite games. Right. Oh. So, I'm going to go and bog off and go to bed. So, um, yeah, thank you all of you. Thank you, Tickaholic and Mackenzie, Beejinx and Einar I Martin and Golden Sander. Thank you all of you. Right. One second, if you please. Is anyone playing anything interesting? Let's have a look. Oh, uh, sorry, yes, and on the bullshittery front, I'm trying to finish Armour 3 Bullshittery Part 10. The video is 18 minutes and 39 seconds long, and on the, s the end of the sixth week, I finished 16 minutes and 46 seconds. It's made up of 37 sequences. I finished 36. So just one large, big, complicated one to finish at the end, and then it enters quality assurance. So that's the plan. I'll be picking that, that up again from Monday, really. Right, now then. So ZF Smeagol is doing some Apex Legend. Harry is just chatting. No, he's not. He's doing Valorant. Um, who else is on? And Alistair is doing Doom. Okay, in which case I will hand you over to... Let me hand you over to Alistair then. So this is Alistair. One second. Do, 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 do. 
You can see what he's doing. I can't spell Alistair. There we go. Right. Thank you again, everyone. Have a lovely weekend. Hope to see you again soon. And this is Alistair.